So you wanted to hide the address into Shopify. Today, let's focus. You are a dropshipper, home-based business, or simply prefer to keep your address private. This tutorial will help you to add the process. So first of all, what you want to do is to go directly into Shopify. So I'm going to focus here into my home section. So we're going to be focusing to the same side here. Now, once you have looked it in, what you want to do is to locate into the lip hood, going into settings. Inside here, you want to navigate directly into my store details into the upper side. Now here, as you should see, we have a general section. And now directly in here, what you want to do is to edit the store address. If you scroll down to the store details section where you see the fields for your store address, you want to hide the address, simply remove the address information from the address field. By managing your brand settings, what you can do is to edit your social links, the show description, your logo and cover images, all the colors, the logos, and actually that will be it. Now, if you focus directly into the upper side of store details, you have an actual billing information. Now, this address is your business address, but this one says this is a billing information. This is, let's say, like required when you're just getting started to make the billing process. So usually you don't have to pay absolutely for anything else. So usually you can't hide this because this one actually is not available for the public. If I go here into the profile, I only have available the store name, the store phone and the store email. So this might be all the elements that appears into my actual website. As you can see, this one, it says appears into your website. Now, these details could be publicity uh, available. Do not use your personal information. So if you wanted to change the notification settings, you want to go into, into notifications, so you can then use a sender email to change the actual customer notification. So lastly, what you can do here is just to edit the staff notification and as you can see here is a fulfillment request notification. Items to fulfill, the shipping method, the tracking number, and the custom email. So what I can do is to change the fulfillment question. So what I can do is to change the staff notification. So if I click here into the app recipient, I only have the email address and the name. So in this case, I don't have to do absolutely anything else. So I'm gonna hit now into cancel because I am not actually showing my actual site directly into my Shopify website. And to prove that, I need to go back into my Shopify and make sure it doesn't leap the appeal into the actual uh, folder. Lastly, if you go into the customization of the template, if you scroll all the way down and locate where your actual address has been located, what you want to do is to try to disable where it actually appears. Usually it appears into the actual section of the folder. So what you want to do is to disable the element that you don't want to see. So in this case, I have showing the policy links, showing the payment icons, enable the language selector, enable the country selector, show social media icons, and follow on shop. So assuming that I have enabled, for example, the actual element of the follow on shop, which is in this case, uh, let's say address, I just disable this and I hit now to save. And there's actually how you actually do it. Once you have removed the address information, you want to scroll to the bottom of the page and click into save to apply the changes. So the Shopify store address will now be hidden from the public view. So additionally, you want to previously display your address on the legal pages such as the terms of service or privacy policies. You might want to update this page to reflect the changes. Navigate to the legal section into the Shopify section and make sure that your actual element has not been edited as you are doing the same thing with your actual current website. And there you go. Just verify the changes and show that your address is successful hidden. Open any browser, private window, and visit the Shopify store front 10. Verify that the address is no longer displayed it, and then you hit it now into save. As you can see, this one is not appearing now into the privacy policy, and there you're actually good to go. So in this case, here is my policy. So I just disable my actual address, and I just enable my actual Gmail, and I hit now into save. And there you have it, guys. By the following, the simple steps, you can easily hide your address on Shopify. So whether you are protecting your privacy or operating a home-based business, this feature provides flexibility and control over the store information. If, guys, you find this very helpful, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more Shopify tips and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.